Will Smith has admitted his behaviour at the Oscars was out of line, unacceptable and inexcusable. The actor has publicly apologised to Chris Rock on social media after slapping the comedian on stage after he made a joke about his wife's appearance. Well, Layla Hayes joins me now in the studio. Quite a grovelling apology, wasn't it? I mean, what exactly did Will Smith have to say then? Well, I think it's fair to say that Will Smith has had time to reflect on his actions at the Oscars. And Danny, it's hard to overstate just how extraordinary this event was. We have one of Hollywood's most famous actors walking up to and hitting the comedian Chris Rock. And of course, soon after that, he won his first Academy Award for Best Actor for the film King Richard. And he was later seen dancing and celebrating at an Oscars after party. Now, however, the movie is very different. As you say, he's issued a strongly worded apology on his Instagram account. In it, he says, violence in all its forms is poisonous and destructive. My behaviour at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are a part of the job, but a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear, and I reacted emotionally. Well, he went on to publicly apologise to Chris Rock, saying he was out of line, and he said there is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. Now, for her part, his wife Jada also posted on Instagram today, saying this is a season for healing and I'm here for it. OK, so do you think this is going to damage Will Smith's career then? Well, I think both Will Smith and his PR team will be hoping that this apology has done enough uh, to salvage his career. Um, the organisers of the award show have condemned his actions and they've announced a formal review. For his part, Chris Rock has decided not to press charges, but of course we haven't heard from him publicly yet. Uh, I think what we can say is that both men are going to be asked about this in any interview they do for many years to come. Okay, Leila Hayes, thank you.